Hello friends and welcome to tonight's reading. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you've had a good day and a good weekend and you're ready to start your Monday. I brought Feast for 10 and I also brought Mixed Me. And we're gonna start by reading Mixed Me. And remember the author of the book writes the words and the illustrator of the book draws the pictures. Mixed Me. Hey now, they call me Mixed Up Mike. My hair is like, wow, super crazy, fresh, cool, man. Yeah. I like to go fast. No one can stop me as the wind combs through my zigzag curly do. What's happening, Captain? My dad says, hi, I say, bye, I say. Hey, sweet boy, sweet pie, honey boo. My mom coos. She's my one and only, never lonely. Hi, I say. Bye, I say. Sometimes when we're together, people stare at whatever. Your mom and dad don't match, they say, and scratch their heads. See, my dad's a deep brown and my mom's rich cream and honey. Then people see me and they look at us funny. My mom and dad say I'm a blend of dark and light. We mixed you perfectly and got you just right. There are so many flavors to savor and taste. Why pick only one color or face? Why pick one race? Some kids at school want me to choose who I cruise with. I'm down for fun with everyone. I'm a combo plate, garden salad, rice and beans, tasting great, but wait. And if they care too much about my hair too much, that it's not straight enough, I say it's my hair, don't touch. I'm doing my thing, so don't forget it. If you don't get it, then you don't get it. Uh-huh, I said it. I'm a beautiful blend of dark and light. I was mixed up perfectly and I'm just right. They call me Mixed Up Mike, but that name should be fixed. I'm not mixed up, I just happen to be mixed. Mixed me. The end. Now that was a cool book also. I like that. Kind of reminds me of chocolate me. Yes. Thank you, Mixed Up Mike. <laughs> now to feast for 10. Mm, maybe some of us will have a feast this week. One cart into the grocery store. Two pumpkins, four pie, three chickens, two fry, four children off to look for more, five kinds of beans, six bunches of greens, seven dill pickles stuffed in a jar, eight ripe tomatoes, nine plump potatoes, 10 hands help load the car. Then one car home from the grocery store. Two will look, three will cook, four will taste and ask for more. Mm. Five empty cans, six pots and pans, seven more carrots to wash and peel. Eight platters down, nine chairs around. 
10 hungry folks to share the meal. Mmm, food's looking pretty good there. Feast for 10. Mmm, now that was a good book. Now Miss Erica's hungry. <laughs> Maybe a midnight snack. Feast for 10 and mixed me. Thank you for joining me at the reading today. I'm gonna get my bear snuggling and we will see you soon.